Hi everyone, it's Miss Kirsten. Welcome back to another Pajama Story Time. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas if you celebrated. And I thought for tonight's Pajama Story Time, since 2021 is coming to a close, we could read A Year in the City. It's written by Kathy Henderson, it's illustrated by Paul Howard, and it's published by Candlewick Press. We do not own the rights to this book, but I hope you guys enjoy it. The years turning, the years turning. Through the streets and the houses where the people pass and the traffic churns, all the time the year keeps turning. January starts. It's dark in the morning and the trees are as bare as the TV antennas. Everyone's leaving to go to work. There are the children standing round the bus stop. The drivers scrape ice of their fro off their frozen cars. Nobody talks. They breathe out steam, hurry along, past the cold street birds and down the stairs into the subway. Rush, squash, squeeze, push, rattling warm into the center of town. Hey, look, it's snowing. Great flakes floating out of the sky, trying to turn the city white. Fat chance. Here come the kids. Here come the children for a snowball fight. The storekeepers grumble and get out of their get out their shovels, and the drivers they just keep going. Wheels spin, skid, slide. Watch that car crash. <clears throat> February clatters. Tin cans rattle. A bitter wind lashes at the trash in the gutter. Sirens wail and monsters roar. Ooh-wee, ooh-wee. There's a police car flashing by. An ambulance races close behind. There's a helicopter clattering in the sky watching all the traffic. Ooh-wee, ooh-wee, and more. There are the first snowdrops. Through this, the crowds by the restaurants in Chinatown, a paper lion leaps and sways, dancing the dancing the Chinese New Year in. The children laugh and stare and cling, and all the time the cold wind sings. Here comes spring. March stretches. The days grow. It's time to wash the windows, clean the house. Look up there. The tree men are cutting back the sycamore trees before the leaves come out. They've got chain, chainsaws roaring, gnawing at the branches till they fall into a tangle on the road below. And the street sweepers out, there's a truck cleaning drains. The laundry lines are flapping, but here comes more rain. A woman cleans windshields when the traffic lights turn red, and even the buses at the station take their turn in the giant rollers of the big bus wash. April's bursting. The supermarket's packed with chocolate eggs and fluffy chicks and food for Passover and lines. A workman slaps a clean advertisement over the torn one on the billboard. It's fresh. It's new. It's spring, it says. At the petting zoo by the railroad tracks, there are newborn piglets, lambs, a calf. And it's the Easter vacation. There are children and babies everywhere. The sparrows up in the broken gutter line their nests with candy wrappers. Everything comes out in May. Trees, bike riders, and ice cream signs. It's time to go to the park and play. The daycare children skip around throwing blossoms at each other. Look at that jogger. Funny shorts. Can we feed the ducks? Oh, there's baby ones. At the restaurant by the tennis courts, the old people talk, pigeons fight for crumbs. There's a wedding on the town hall steps. Smile, please. Click. Thank you. Next thing you know, summer's here. June blooms. The nights are short. The air is full of grassy smells. Very early in the morning at the farmer's market, huge trucks drive in from the countryside. They're full of vegetables, fruit, and flowers picked from the fields only hours ago. Those yawning storekeepers come to buy produce for their stores at opening time and drive off through the just waking city. Along the streets the roses bloom, hedges are clipped, and mowers drone. 
and strange things grow in the strangest places. July sweats, windows wide open. Just listen to the city roaring in the heat. At lunchtime, the office workers pour into the parks to find some air. The big trees rustle, the traffic fumes. A masked man with a spray walks by, killing the weeds between the concrete slabs. And here's the neighborhood street fair. There's a steel band, hot dogs, lemonade. There's grandpa dozing in the shade next to 50 children jumping up and down, squealing and laughing on a bouncy castle. Summer's here, it's time to have some fun. Then August sighs. Train loads of people leave the stations. Cars piled high with tents, suitcases, bathing suits, and suntan lotion are setting off for the highways, getting away for those easy days leaving the streets to their August ways. And to the tourists who come in tall, cool buses with their cameras and sunglasses. They go for boat trips on the river, troop in and out of museums and churches, and into the squares to stand and stare at dozy dogs on dusty doorsteps. Tired winds swirling in the litter, children flopping in the sprinkles trying to get cool. August days are lazy days and even the traffic's half asleep. <clears throat> Autumn's here, Some September snaps. The roads hum, wake up, time for work. Children are going back to school with heavy bags and stiff new shoes. The little ones are clinging to their parents' hands, all terror and excitement on their first day at school. On Saturday down at the soccer field, the season starts and the big game brings a crowd that, stay, that sways and chants and sings while out in the park. The first leaves fall. October pauses, golden, still, but there's so much work to be done before winter. There's the painter hurrying to finish the drain pipes and the window sills. The roofers bang the last nails and take down their scaffolding poles. The children squabble for chestnuts. Ice cream trucks play hopeful tunes, but the candy store man cleans his freezer. No more till next summer comes. And down at the city gardens, there are potatoes and carrots to dig up and store. The days are shrinking, the nights are growing, and children dressed up as witches and ghosts haunt the sidewalks calling trick or treat. Then overnight, November strikes. Now a cold wind whips the branches, strips the last leaves off the trees, and chases them along the streets. They block the drains, then it rains. Big puddles grow and passing traffic throws up waves of water at the forest of umbrellas walking by. At the doctor's office, the waiting room's full of sniffing and coughing, aching heads and babies crying. Next, please. The doctors see them one by one, but there are always more to come and the dark days get still darker. Winter's back. Then the lights are lit, December glitters, shoppers Crowd the sidewalks by the big city stores searching for gifts. See the Christmas trees? Where the warm air comes up from the subway, there's a woman on the ground wrapped in old coats and string. She's got holes in her shoes. She's got nowhere to sleep. The carol singers shake tin cans and sing the crowd sing and the crowds hustle by in their fancy clothes on their way to a show going out, hurrying home. They'll be cozy inside while the dark days pass. The stores close. The holidays come at last. And when it's all over and the table's cleared, late on the last night of December, the wide awake city waits to hear the clock strike, strike midnight. Because the year's turning, the year's turning. See the people dance and kiss and sing. Hear the bells ring and the cars honk. Here's January again. The years keep turning. the end. I hope you guys enjoyed A Year in the City and I hope you all had a great 2021 and I'll see you guys next week when it's 2022. Bye!